So it's 2025 and you want to land a job as a network engineer, what do you do? So when it comes to landing a position as a network engineer, you first have to know where is your starting point, right? Do you have the skills, first of all? And that's a very, very, this is the most important thing. You need to acquire the skills. What are the skills right now? You're asking, what are the skills? The first skill you need is to be able to configure devices on a network. Can you do that? Yes or no? If you're not able to configure devices, if I ask you, are you able to configure a router on a stick and you're not able to answer that question, you're not going to do well on interviews, right? So you have to know how to configure things on a network. You have to be able to know how to subnet. You have to be able to know how to what are routers, what are switches. You have to know most of the majority of the networking protocols on a network. So that's, I would say, is the big three things that you need to know to actually land a job as a network engineer are those key fundamental things. And those key fundamental things can be learned through certifications. And the biggest, best certification you guys should get is the Cisco CCNA certification, 200-301. That is by far the most highest return on investment certification you guys can get if you guys want to get into the network engineering field, mainly because this certification is what employers look for in the networking field. Not the CompTIA Net Plus, not the A Plus, not the Security Plus, but rather the CCNA certification is the gold standard, right? Cisco certifications, mainly because the industry is mostly Cisco, right? The majority of networking devices that's all over the world is Cisco. So you're better off learning the majority of, of the, what devices are is Cisco. I would not recommend getting Juniper certifications as your first. Focus on Cisco because it has keyword, the highest ROI, right? So first thing is learn the skills. That's in, in conjunction with also getting your certifications. Those are the two most important things. Now, the next thing you guys should do is build projects. Building projects is going to be critical because without projects, you're not going to have real world experience. And a lot of people say, how do I get hands on experience in the job? If I don't have job experience, I totally get it. It's really difficult. But here's the thing. There's a, there's a free application made by Cisco called Cisco Packet Tracer. Let me say that again. Cisco Packet Tracer. It is by far the most beginner friendly application you guys can use if you guys want to get into network engineering because literally you can configure devices, you can build a whole network, you can build a project on it, you can build a hospital network, a hotel network, you can build a, a local area network connecting it to another local area network using you know VPNs. And there's so much things you can do with just Packet Tracer and you can build so many projects on it to where you can actually build your skills and use those projects for the next step that we'll talk about. And that next step is practicing interviews, right? Practicing interviews. If you're able to practice interviews, then this is this is going to be the most important thing. Because when it comes to getting a job, you have the skill set right here. You have your certifications here. You have your projects here. On the other side is the interviewee, right? And then in the middle is this interview part. This interview part is the most neglected part when it comes to getting a job or any sort of field in, in tech, really. Because what people struggle and really what they make mistakes on is they end up not practicing interviews or they think interviews are something that you can improve upon. It's not a skill, but rather interviews are a consequential skill that you guys have to get better at, right? And these and getting better at interviews requires you to get practice with interviews. And there's a lot of practice interview softwares that I recommend you guys use to get better at interviews. This is the most important thing. A lot of people, their big mistake is they have all these skills, right? They, they're getting interviews, but they can't pass interviews because they haven't gotten better at the skill of interviewing, which is a skill of its own. And it's a very difficult skill if you haven't practiced upon it because at the end of the day, they want to see if, not only if you have the skills during the interview, they want to see your personality, if you're well-spoken, if you're articulate. They're, ask, they're really looking at that at the same time in, in, in including your your current skill, your technical skill sets, right? And they also just want to see if you're a good fit for the team. So this is the most important things, guys. This is how you get into tech in 2025. You have to get the skills and then also practice interviewing so you can actually get the job in the first place, but also at the same time. So it's going to be skills, certs, projects, in practice, practicing interviews, then doing interviews and then passing interviews. It's that simple. That's the complete roadmap, 
right? That's what I would do if you want to get into network engineering. Now you're going to say, what if I don't have experience? And here's what I will do. I would get any tech job. Literally, there's a lot of tech jobs that don't require any experience at all, at all, right? You can get into any sort of tech job with no experience, even if it's helped us, even if it's knock, it doesn't matter. Try to get, try to find yourself or try to get yourself into any sort of tech position. Um, and that's really just by a, applying for positions, even if you're not qualified, even if you don't think you're qualified, still apply anyways, because most companies, most of the time, if you're a good fit in terms of personality, the way you talk, if they just like you as a person, they'll give you a chance and they'll give you an opportunity. But that requires you to actually have faith in yourself to actually do the job in the first place, right? The big mistake, and a lot of people make this mistake, is I don't want to apply for this job because they require seven years of experience, five years of experience. I won't be able to get in. But you should never, ever have that mindset because at the end of the day, getting a job, you're always, you're, you're never going to have ever going to meet those qualifications to actually get the job. Like, for example, let's say the job wants Fiverr's experience, wants Cisco, Juniper, Arista, Aruba, which are networking devices, uh, Palo Alto firewalls, Fortinet firewalls. If they want all this stuff and you haven't really delved into all of them, just at the end of the day, you have to get practice outside of work, Let's get the skills, but also accept the fact that you're not going to know everything when it comes to doing the job. And that's completely normal because the tech landscape is always changing and that's completely fine. But at the end of the day, you still have to apply. You still have to apply no matter what because they'll take a chance on you, right? And you can learn the skills while you do the job. And that's a big mistake a lot of people make is they, they want to get, in, get into a role. They feel they're not qualified enough. They don't apply. They miss a potential opportunity, right? And, and really those opportunities can be, you know, they can be very vast and very many, there could be many of them, but you still have to take a chance. So that's really the roadmap for 2025. Um, really in today's job market, it's all about getting the skills. Of course you need the skills. Skills are very important. You can do hands-on practice, right? And the only certification I recommend for a network engineer is going to be the Cisco CCNA. Nothing else, guys. Don't waste your time. Don't be a cert junkie. Don't be the person who gets thousands of certifications and just plasters it in LinkedIn and then has no experience. That's the worst case scenario you guys can get into because you're going to feel as if you're making progress and you're actually not making any progress. The key thing you need to do is get the skills, get the hands-on projects, get better at interviews, practice interviews, look up interview practicing softwares and do them and then be and then start applying for positions update your resume of course um with your projects and your your experience that you've gotten from those um, projects and put them on your resume and then practice articulating those skills that you learned in those projects and putting them putting into a scenario almost as if you did it yourself right then you'll be able to speak well during those interviews right and that's the key thing is, is if you can put all that together in a package and also another, this is the last thing I want to bring up. You want to have faith in yourself. Whenever you guys are new to any field, I totally get it. You feel like you're not, you're incompetent. You're not able to do the job. You feel as if they're going to, they're going to find out that you really don't know what you're doing. Right. And I totally get that. That's completely normal, completely fine. Put that aside. Literally just put that aside and understand the fact that Everyone goes through that. I went through that. When I was becoming a network engineer, I literally did not know if I was going to do well in the job or not. I was afraid. I wasn't sure if I was going to um, succeed or not. I always thought I was like, maybe I'm, I, I'm, I was going through what they call imposter syndrome. And that's completely normal. Completely normal. So guys, in 2025, just put in the work. Understand it that it's going to take time. Understand that you just need to work, focus on getting the skills. Don't focus on getting a lot of certifications. One certification, master the skill of networking, do projects, right? Once you do the projects, get better at interviews, keep practicing interviews, start applying to jobs, and then you'll just keep doing more interviews. And after a while, a job is going to hire you. And hopefully this can be in 2025. So if you guys want to learn more on how to become a network engineer, go ahead and click the link down below. I'll have a link down below. If you want to just hop on a call with me and see if I can help you get a job as a network engineer, I can help definitely help you with that. Um, if not, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a like and thumbs up as well if you want to see more content like this. Also, I have a question for you guys. 
Do you guys want to see more technical videos about configuring things on networks and 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 actually can, like really just technical videos like what is DHCP, what is ARP? I can definitely do that for you guys. Let me know and I can start creating content like that. So with that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.